Buenos dias, welcome to Cusco, Peru. About a one and a half hour flight later from Lima. That was one of the most amazing flights I've ever had. Like it reminded me a lot of the volcano I went to in Maui because think of mountains essentially just barely poking out of the clouds and it looks like they're little islands. It's absolutely stunning. And the landing coming to Cusco was very interesting. You have to take a massive hard left to get in because you're basically coming through the mountains. And right now I'm actually feeling it. There's about 5% less oxygen that you'd have in Lima or so I was told I don't know the exact math on it but you feel it you feel like it's a bit of a light breath every breath you take before leaving the Lima airport we actually bought some pills hopefully that will help us get past this whole altitude sickness thing but it's very common that sometimes people will take a couple days to adjust we have our pickup we're heading right to the hotel we're probably gonna have a power nap because we slept about three hours last night and we are off so we've just arrived at Hotel Rio Sangrada and my face just lit up because she's explaining to me all the stuff that the hotel offers like an Inca shower, a heated pool, and that's all great and all. I'm super excited to check that out. But then she drops this on me. There are two baby alpacas living here and they're in the garden so we get to feed them later. I don't think I've ever been so excited about anything in my life. So let's just say dreams come true. So this is Inti and the brown one is Kia and they're eight month old alpacas. Extremely soft. The, oh yes, this is a good alpaca. I actually thought of a really funny joke on the way here. A llama walks into a travel agency and the travel agent says, tickets to Cusco are right now 50% off. The llama says, alpaca my bags. Let's see what the Peruvian villa lifestyle has to offer. <laughs> Welcome, this is Thank the you. Oh, lovely. Check that out. We got our own grass terrace right here where we can see the alpacas down there. We're so fortunate to be staying here tonight. Parts of it are modern, parts of it feel like traditional Peruvian style. You've got the modern finishings and then you've got the little, you know, Peruvian touches like the vases, the mugs. You can see the rafters here, which is really cool. I need to get a quick sleep in because we're gonna be going to Maras right after this and it is probably one of the most photographic places you can see in all of Peru. I feel rested now after a one hour nap and right now we have an incredible picnic all set up. Hello! Oh my gosh, check this out. What? That is unbelievably beautiful. I'm gonna take my shoes off for this. How's your day going so far? <laughs> it's the best day of my life. <laughs> I love this kind of things. Cesar, déjame apreciarles el pan de la casa. Gracias, señor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so stoked. Katie, what's this one called? Muña. So it's a typical herb from here. It tastes like mint a little bit and it's really good for altitude. Mm. That is really good. This has to be one of the most unique experiences I've had as far as hotels go. Like this is really up there as one of my tops. It wouldn't be lunch without alpacas. Not like on the table, but like entertaining us. Here they come. beautiful things I've seen. So you can buy all sorts of different salts here. You have everything from table salt to some sort of medicinal salt and they even have the Heisenberg specialty. <laughs> Don't bring that one across the border. These here are the salt flats and how it works is basically they cut out little circular areas and they're not too deep. They're probably no more than a foot deep. They fill it up with water and when the water evaporates you're left with quality salt that can be used for medicinal purposes, for table salt, and as we saw earlier, for drugs. This one here is for the vlog. <laughs> bueno. <laughs> And 
right there, you can see the drying room where they leave all the salt to dry before selling it to people like her. One thing I find interesting though is you do see people working here. Like it's not just a tourist stop. This is an actual working mine, so it's pretty cool to see. After spending 45 minutes at the mine, we had our driver take us back up the hill to get some final shots and enjoy that incredible Peruvian sunset. And if you've ever flown a drone before, you'll probably know that this is not what you want to see on your screen. At this point, I thought my drone was gone. My heart sank. I was like, there goes $1,500 and I'm in the middle of Peru. I don't know where I'm going to get a replacement. To this day, I could not tell you what happened, but the drone flew back. And if the drone had not been retrieved, we all would have been worse off today because this is what I found. People always debate if there's anything else out there, a higher life, a smarter species. Today I'm here to confirm that we are not alone. I give to you one of the hardest crop circles to find, pun fully intended. When I was flying the drone, I did not see this in the field. It wasn't until about two days later when Jamie started cutting through the footage. I get called over to the computer and what do I see? Nothing more than a 40 foot long phallus just nicely put into the field. Aliens. Yo, check out that fire. Yeah. That fire feels good. All right guys, so we are now going for a cooking class as if today couldn't get any better. The hotel has set up this beautiful little session for us. First we cut it in the middle and we cut it. Show you. Yes. Necesito. So this is the final product. It is a causa acevichada. I'm just repeating what Katy said a second ago. <laughs> it's a very traditional Peruvian meal. Uh, ceviche I've had before and I love it. Like when it's prepared right, it's just amazing. And I know it's going to be the case here. And then causa is kind of like, is it potato? I should know this. I was it's just like mash, watching him making like it. Mashed pota potato mm -hmm. with mayonnaise, oil, lemon and um, yellow chili. And the weird thing is, it's not actually lemon because they call limes lemons here, which is very confusing. But who am I to say you're wrong? Maybe the North Americans are wrong. Jamie, have you tried it yet? No, I haven't. Let's dig in. The trout that he's used here is like so fresh and the way it's marinated with the lime sauce, this is to die for. Probably went back for it. But. I hope you guys enjoyed the very first video here in the Sacred Valley of Peru. I'm very curious to hear what you think about this video format being roughly seven to nine minutes. I'm kind of thinking of going with that for the future of the channel, putting out more videos and slightly shorter. Let me know what you think. Please comment down below. And lastly, if you're not part of the channel, make sure to do so. Click that subscribe button just over here. You can join the channel, be notified when new videos come out just like this. We're just getting started on the Peru trip and I actually built an entire dedicated guide just for you. If you're coming to Peru, you want to know the hidden gems, the top tourist destinations, the best restaurants, even details like how to bring a drone into the country, how to avoid altitude sickness, the entire itinerary is built just for you to make the most of your time here in Peru. That is just linked down below if you want the full guide, but I have a five hot tips for you. It will give you five tips to get you started with your trip to Peru, and that one is completely free. Without further ado guys, let's get lost again in the next one.